in this forecast. California is bracing for more extreme rainfall. Some areas could see a foot of rain next week. And two more rounds of showers and storms are coming to the southern tier of the United States. Who might see severe weather next week? All of that and more is coming right up. Good evening, this is Max Velocity with your latest forecast, and if you've been outside today, it hasn't been that active. We've had a pretty inactive day so far. Many of you on the East Coast are feeling cooler weather. However, on the West Coast, there's this Pineapple Express bringing all sorts of rainfall, and that's really been the story the last few days, and there's not really anything upcoming for this weekend for most of the United States. However, once we go into next week, things will become much more active. So the National Weather Service does have a few watches and warnings set in place across the United States. Back over in California, we have some flood watches in effect, as well as even winter storm warnings for the Sierra Nevada, as more of this Pineapple Express brings atmospheric rivers, which will continue the progression of some significant rainfall. Some areas could actually see upwards of a foot of rain over the next several days. But ever since last Friday, this is how much rain has at least been observed in California, and some areas in particular have seen a lot more rain than others. For example, Chico around 3 inches of rain at this current moment over the past seven days back over in san francisco though in the base bay area that region has seen upwards of almost nine inches of rain and this isn't it we're going to see the potential for almost double that amount as we head into this upcoming week so this all does begin today with rainfall beginning especially back up in northwestern california near eureka we'll see some heavier rainfall this afternoon into the evening hours but by the overnight hours is when this rain will start to shift a bit further to the east going closer to interstate 5 in california and even areas near the bay area will begin to have some showers and maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder overnight tonight by tomorrow morning rain becomes much more scattered in nature and not nearly as numerous but by saturday afternoon is when more rain will start to push into the state some of this could really make visibility on the roadways very limited down as low as half a mile to potentially a quarter of a mile in some spots and by saturday evening into the overnight hours is when rain will continue Continue, and we'll see additional rainfall totals reach as much as three to six inches in some spots. So the overall rainfall being forecasted by the Weather Prediction Center all the way through next Friday is currently expected to be between a half a foot to a foot of additional rainfall. Areas near Redding could see upwards of almost 12 inches. Back near the Bay Area may double the amount of rain that they've already seen as well. So it's going to get very dangerous out there. Rock slides, power outages, and extreme flooding will all be possibilities over the next several days. But talking about the rest of the United States is where things get a little bit more interesting as we head into next week, because we'll be not just watching California, but we'll be watching a couple of different small scale troughs over the southern tier of the United States, while the northeast United States deals with high pressure systems that are really going to keep the region dry. So overall, going into this weekend, one trough will develop, bring some rainfall to the southern half of the United States, back near Texas, all the way back through about Florida, and eventually going to mid next week rain is going to start to really wind down across the eastern half of the country before we get to thursday though is when that next trough will develop over the southern or central plains now the specific location of where this develops is a bit of a question mark but where it develops will be pretty crucial into the severe weather potential that we may have going into thursday or friday of next week and eventually going to next weekend is when we could see a pretty big rain event back over in new england but again we're a little bit far out from that but we'll keep you posted with the latest details beginning with the this event this weekend that trough will develop in the southern plains bringing some scattered to maybe numerous shower activity down from te southeast texas back through mississippi and even into missouri eventually going to sunday we'll start to see that rain shift a bit further to the east and going to monday this will really impact areas back over in the carolinas and georgia overall rainfall totals do seem to actually be pretty beneficial for some areas like southeast texas some areas though back over in the lower mississippi valley just saw a lot of rain from this past severe weather event so this additional rainfall not really needed but some areas will see between a half an inch to upwards of two inches of rain over the upcoming 48 to 72 hours but flash flooding should remain on the very low side of things the only areas that i would expect impacts in terms of flash flooding would likely be lower elevations or areas that have already dealt with flooding over the past several days now the next event that we're going to be watching will be at the later portion of next week most likely wednesday or thursday is when this trough will become to fruition which will 
likely begin to develop into something that may produce some severe weather across the southern half of the United States. So beginning with late Wednesday is when we could see this trough really develop. This is where we could start to see some shower and storm activity bubble across portions of eastern Oklahoma or Texas back into areas in the Dixie Valley or the lower Mississippi Valley as well. And eventually going into uh, early portions of Thursday is when this will shift off to the east, posing the potential for some severe weather. But just realize that we're still about five to six days out from this event potentially occurring, which does mean things may change as we get closer in terms of location, threats, and all that sort of stuff. But we'll keep you posted with the latest details on all of that. Now, if this event does occur, we do have a couple of important ingredients in place, which does include instability and as well as a low-level jet. And beginning with instability, the values are expected to be between 500 to 1,000 joules per kilogram, which is plenty for some severe weather to occur in the southern half of the United States. And the low-level jet, on the other hand, will not be the strongest we've ever seen, but some areas could very well be dealing with a low-level jet between 35 to 50 knots, which would pose at least a low threat for tornadoes. Thanks for watching. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting.